Okay, so uh, this is my current um, Raspberry Pi project, which is basically the Adafruit LCD Pi plate um, connected to my Raspberry Pi, and then it's connected to Wi Fi, and then down there is my power cable and my SD card. Um, I'm using the Pi Bow uh, Model A in Timber, which is a one off for me because I'm special. Um, I quite like this because the GPR connector is completely like open but it's still a reasonably sturdy case. The only problem right now is that I've lost two of the nuts which happens stupidly easy with a pie bow. Um, so yes yeah, so this is a LCD pie plate which uh, basically means that you only use the two I squared C pins but you've got control of all these different buttons and a potentiometer to change the contrast on the LCD. Um, this is done by this little chip here, which is a port expander, which basically takes in the I squared C signal and pushes it out further, so they like basically the bits get pushed out further. I'm not going to do a full explanation because I'm not quite sure on it myself. So, <laughs> um, this comes as a kit form, which don't really yeah, you shouldn't really be scared of that because it gives you gave me a chance to do some more soldering, and soldering is probably the funnest thing ever. Um, so anyway, I'm using the 83 Web IDE. Um, this is great, especially if you've got a piece of Adafruit hardware because they provide you automatically when you install the Adafruit Web IDE with a repository for your own code and a repository of their code. So you can literally just go here um, and go into the SHA LCD plate, which is what we're using. Uh, click on it. It's not always uh, very quick to respond to you, but it's on a Raspberry Pi, so you've got to give it some kicking first. Um, so if we go over here, then copy this project to my Pi projects. So that just if we go back and back again. Go back to my project, Pi projects. Uh, we can see we've got a copy of the entire source code in our own little repository. So we can just nick from that. Um, so if we go back and go into Twitter LCD, um, go on to my little tester. Um, so down here that's the library that I've chosen to use which is twice and which I recommend because it's easy and it um, integrates with OAuth 2 which is the current um, authentication software for the Twitter API. Um, so this is a little bit of a change from the actual tutorial that I posted on my website because I've now modified it so that it will just directly output the LCD without going to the print printing to console. Um, so, the code for this is reasonably simple. Um, this is how we set it up, just here. Um, I'll post the full source code, so I'm not going to go over all of it, but basically there's about four different lines which um, allow you to print out stuff. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. So let's just press run and go over here. Um, the code is not yet perfect for this, I'm getting there. Um, it still cuts off the last few uh, letters due to some form of bug that I've put in there. Um, but on the whole I'm impressed with how easily it was to set this up and finish this project, so I'm mostly done now. When I'm completely finished I will post the code on my website and hopefully on my GitHub. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.